hey y'all welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be gluing together a wig so in the beginning you're just going to see me showing you guys some of the tools this janet collection easy diy kit came with and then you're also going to see me bleach her knots um but unfortunately i didn't read the box so i bleached knots that i didn't really have to bleach so yeah you know waste of lightener waste of money but you know who's counting y'all when i say waste of money i just meant me using the lightener so don't take that like no way if the uh, janet collection team is watching this by chance but anyway so the reason the knots didn't lighten is because it's dark hair so typically like black hair it requires like you know a uh, actual chemical and sometimes they use like extra permanent chemicals that won't come out so that's basically what happened i just lightened it and the knots didn't lighten at all just didn't budge i'm assuming they use like some type of henna lightener which usually doesn't budge um but if this were to work you would definitely want to have the foils there and you would see it actually starting to lighten a lot to a certain tone if this hypothetically worked and you're trying to figure it all out and when you're done you want to use a purple shampoo so you can even out everything i still use the purple shampoo even though it didn't do anything but i was just like with the hay that's just the process so i want to show you guys the actual process of making a wig So now I'm just prepping my mannequin head. As y'all can see, I put a shower cap on there first because I'm gonna be gluing this wig together. And then after, I'm gonna place my dome cap on. So it took me a minute, but the 22 should be in the back of the head or whatever measurement should be in the back of the head. And then the other side is the front. So for the longest, I was sewing it the other way around and my wigs would fit super weird and I didn't know why, but that's why. So make sure your number or the logo is in the back of the head, guys, when you do this. So I'm going to sew the frontal down. So this is just showing you guys how I thread it. Um, this is just a visual. I'm not going to explain the threading, but if you guys do need help with it, please let me know in the comment section and I will make a separate video on how to thread your needles for sew-ins and just sewing anything in general. So now I'm measuring the frontal up with the middle of the head. And I'm going to take my T-pins and I'm going to pin the back down. I know this is the frontal with the weird thing. It's not like a real frontal. Because like I said, this wig or this hair, it was really cheap. I don't know if I even did say that. I said, like I said. But yes, this hair wasn't expensive at all. I think I paid less than $50 for it or maybe 60 at the most but I don't think I paid any more than $50 for this hair so that's the type of frontals you should expect if you're not trying to invest invest and for this case this was just a quick wig to do a video and experiment I think I wanted a bob at the time and in a separate video I'll show you guys how I installed and cut my wig and all that stuff so when I sew down for like my closures or my frontals, I always start in the middle and work my way to the outer perimeter. I've noticed that that helps me maintain a flat um, surface. I also did keep like the extra lace. I was about to say the extra skin, but the extra lace, I kept that just so I could sew it down. And then after I sew it all the way down, then I'm going to cut it. Um, like I said, the lace had a weird shape to it. And I think me keeping that lace on there kind of made it a little bit easier for me personally but i recommend you just experiment now 
Now I'm grabbing my got to be glue spray. So I'm gonna spray that all over the cap. It gives it a little bit of a firmness. You wanna take your blow dryer on cool also just to make it a little bit firmer. It helps grip it better once you put the track glue. So now I take the track glue and I put it over a few rows so that way I could keep going with the tracks because you want the glue to actually dry a little bit more so it becomes tacky and it sticks faster. So y'all see me just putting the glue and kind of spreading it up a few rows and then I measure the tracks out the other bundles and I go from the longest bundle to the shortest bundle on this wig. Sometimes you could do it opposite depending on what look you're going for. But this one in particular, I just wanted like a layered look. So I kept it in the regular bundle order. But yeah, so you see me getting creative with the glue. Um, I actually cut myself earlier. I don't know if you guys saw. So I had to make like a makeshift band-aid because I didn't have band-aids at the time. As I get to the top, since it's a frontal, I kind of like to curve the tracks with the curve of the head. So as I go higher, the tracks will get smaller. And then once I get to a certain amount of space, I can actually just take the tracks straight across. So. So that's the final look that track at the top bothered me a little bit so y'all might see me messing around with it or cut it or something later in the video um so now i'm blowing her hair out some so that way it's on the straighter side so i don't have to do as much work but i was mostly worried about the frontal so i was blowing the frontal out and now you're going to see me pluck her hairline a little bit so it looks more natural. But I was actually in a rush this day, so I didn't get to pluck it how I wanted to pluck it. Um, but you guys will just see that. And y'all are going to see me do a quick install. Unfortunately, that one won't have any instructions. It's just going to be some ASMR type of stuff, I guess. enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and you guys stay tuned oh and on a side note when you take the cap out of the wig make sure you guys take your blow dryer on cool and blow dry the inside of the cap flip the wig out and blow dry it so it can harden some more before you put it on if you plan on wearing the wig that same day but yes that is my message to you guys. Oh, and when you cut out the frontal, don't cut your fingers and don't cut the thread underneath.